friendly room. <laughs> no, actually, I'm, I'm very excited uh, you know, to, to be able to continue to build what we've been working so hard on the last four years, to be able to continue to move forward, uh, hopefully much beyond three years. And uh, we've got some great people here that allowed some, some quality things to happen in our scouting department and our player development system, and we're beginning to see it up here at the major league level, uh, the impact that Clinton and his staff have made resources that Bob's given us in the draft and the support that Bob's given us and then the guidance and, and support that Frank's given us. Uh, we're on the right path. Um, maybe not moving as quickly as everybody would have liked and we understand that. Uh, we've got a lot of work left to do but there's a lot of good things going on and I'm excited to be able to continue that. What's been the toughest part of these first four years for you? The losing, without question. Um, you know, we came in to a situation we knew was difficult. Uh, everybody wants to win. That's why we do this. It's the only reason we do this is to be a competitive, winning major league team. Uh, we knew we had some work cut out for us. Uh, we faced some challenges along the way. We've made some mistakes along the way. We've learned and, and, and grown along the way uh, and look forward to applying the lessons learned and, and look forward to, to this young talent that we've talked about from day one beginning to show itself on a consistent basis at the major league level uh, and we're looking forward to the challenge of taking that next step and then uh, the bigger challenge of sustaining it when we do get to be a winning major league team. What's the status of some of your front office staff? I mean, do you expect stability there as well? We do. This is uh, hopefully the first piece uh, of the puzzle to come together. Um, we've got some tremendous people working in our office, leading our departments in Greg Smith and, and, and Kyle Stark. You know, Joe Delacari does a tremendous job, Ty Brooks, uh, our scouting leadership, our player development leadership, our major league club, our major league staff. Uh, we've got some great people. Um, we're going to uh, move quickly as we can to put the remaining pieces of the puzzle in place and, and continue to grow and develop as an organization. What have you learned in the first four years of the It's both things that have gone well for you and things that have. And how can you take what you've learned forward in this next three years? I'd say uh, well, that's a great question because there's a million things that we've learned. You know, there's a million things that we're proud of. There's a million things that we wish we could do differently. Um, but we've learned uh, a ton of lessons along the way. The value of major league players, the difficulty of acquiring above average major league players, um, the best ways to do it, um, the challenges of predicting human growth, development, and evolution, um, and, and that uh, it's, our development path isn't linear. Uh, there's ups and there's downs and the difficulty of remaining patient, the, the difficulty of remaining disciplined and not winning, uh, not living and dying with the wins and losses as tough as it is. And, uh, you know, even you look at the majority of the organizations that have gone through the curve that we're going through, there's going to be some great times and there's going to be some tough times. And, uh, we've experienced more than our fair share of tough times. We're looking forward to the many good times and the many great times to come. Uh, we're going to continue to remain patient, disciplined, uh, and aggressive in our execution of our plan. You know, you guys hung in real well for two-thirds of the season this year and kind of faded. How close do you think you are to be able to take that into September and maybe eventually October? Well, our expectation is to play better baseball for six months next year. And, and uh, uh, we talk continually about the process. We focus on the process, focus on the process. And if we do that effectively and efficiently, the results will take care of themselves. And uh, we showed ourselves uh, that we can do some very good things for about four months. And now we've got to figure out how to do it for six uh, we faced a ton of injuries, a ton of adversity. I'll give Clint and his staff all the credit in the world. Not one time have they said, well, look how broken we are. Uh, every day they've shown up with the 25 guys in that clubhouse, and they fought, and they battled, and they've done everything in their power to win that night's game. And sometimes it hasn't worked for us. We had a tough August. That's also a great learning experience for our young players. Uh, again, you look at the youth of our lineup. You look at the, the, the exciting part for us is the majority of those contributions came from players that are going to be here for years, and that's an exciting thing for our fans. We've got a good system that's being built. We've got some great young players coming through that are going to help us win games. Uh, looking forward to having a better offseason as a front office and, and uh, looking to supplement this group as best we can. Uh, but as our guys mature and, and learn and develop, and, and you look around the league and the, the, the center of the lineup production, the middle of the lineup production, the, the top of the rotation, the back end of the bullpen, almost everybody has older players than we have. We're not always going to have 6 plus, 7 plus, 8 plus in all those spots. We're always going to have young players. That's the nature of our market. Um, but to, to rely on all, almost all young players it is a challenge, and, and that's where we've got to block that balance. Uh, we've got to find a way to continue to help our young players grow and develop and find, help them become more consistent uh, and, and then supplement as best we can on the outside, but continue to steal athleticism and coach them up at the big league level, continue to, to, to remain consistent and cohesive from the bottom to the top in our system and how we do things and what types of players we want to acquire and, and then figure out how to have them play really well here in Pittsburgh so we win games.